So here's the lawn food I chose this spring. I got it at Walmart for like 17 bucks. Covers 5,000 square feet. Uh, old Farmer's Almanac. Will not burn your lawn, so it's kind of goof proof. If you go too heavy, it's not going to harm anything. Actually, more is more with a product like this. But you just want to be careful with centipede, not to overfeed. Uh, no manure, so like muorganite or malorganite that uses uh, water waste treatment plant uh, waste and no offensive odor. It has kind of a bread type smell. So it's got a lot of good directions on the back here. It says you want to make sure it's a calm day when no heavy rains are expected. So it's 7.1% water soluble nitrogen, 2.9% water insoluble nitrogen. So it has kind of fast release and slow release components in here. And the potassium is 2%. And it's derived mainly, this is what you want to look for, derived from soybean meal, distillers dried grains, and this is going to be uh, potassium sulfate. Because uh, this product is almost exactly like uh, purely organic lawn food. And I've had good results with it, uh, with purely organic, a couple years ago. So I saw this at Walmart and was just like, man, this is a good price. Uh, and it's organic. I don't want to really do a synthetic right now. I may decide to do a synthetic uh, for June or July feeding. Uh, but I wanted to do this and just get a nice mild organic type lawn food down. And then Haven't done anything to the lawn yet this year except I did an atrazine application about five days ago. I went out of town for a few days and thought it was a good time to do it right before I left. So now it's been about five days and I'm starting to see some yellowing of the weeds. You probably won't see results in atrazine till about a week or two weeks. Uh, maximum probably three weeks. But uh, you really want your forecast to be sunny for at least a few days after your application. So that atrazine has to be taken up through the roots of the weed or by the roots. So if it rains like a day or that afternoon after you apply it, the results won't be quite as good. Now that we have that atrazine application down and it's been settling in and the weeds are starting to yellow, I went ahead and mowed today. And now we can go ahead and fertilize for the first time this year. I've waited till the lawn is greened up naturally. Um, it's definitely safe now to fertilize. We have had cool nights, like last night it got down to I think 59, but uh, it's not gonna get freezing again uh, anymore this year now that we're in late April. So the lawn is greened up. It's now safe to go ahead and apply all these weed killers and fertilizers and everything like that and just really kind of push the centipede. Now you don't want to push it hard like Bermuda where you can fertilize like every three weeks if you want to. Centipede, we really want to do a feeding in uh, around May 1st in my area. I'm in Alabama. Now if you're down there in Florida where you have year-round heat, you still got to watch how much nitrogen you're putting down every year and you want to keep that low. Um, so we're gonna do three treatments today, actually. We're gonna do humic DG, it's kind of a soil conditioner. If you wanna read about or look at my video I did last year about all the benefits of humic acid, go check that out. We're gonna throw that down today. We're also gonna put down some, the main organic base fertilizer that I've chosen this year. So uh, I went to Walmart before I went out of town and uh, I like going down their aisles uh, every spring to see what they have for the year. Cause you never know what they might get in new for the year. And just, I've noticed the Walmart by me really has new products every year, which is kind of exciting, especially in their lawn and garden area. And they've added a lot of good high quality products. I'm actually kind of surprised, but they have uh, partnered with Earth Science or they're, they're holding their products. So Earth Science makes Muorganite, which is a 511 it could be used for centipede, but I like to stay away from kind of the biosolid type products. There's nothing wrong with those, but I like to stay away from them because you never know what kind of toxic metals are in there and stuff like that. Um, it's a 5-1-1 analysis, like I said, which is decent. It's not great, but if you want kind of a slow, mild feeding, uh, Walmart is carrying that this year. At least by me, they are. Um, and they also have an Earth Science product that looked good. It was a 1602 analysis by earth science called lawn food plus i believe and it looked pretty good i mean it, it didn't have any iron in it but it had a good analysis the 1602 the 16 percent nitrogen however was mainly urea which 
it's kind of a quick feeding nitrogen uh, that, I mean, obviously works well, but it's, there's no ammonium nitrate in it really. If there is, that was that 1%. I don't remember what that 1% was, but mainly urea. The potassium was sulfate of potassium though, so that's good. So that's a good product. I mean, that's good. That's a lot better than uh, some of the other stuff they carry. Our third application today is going to be some hose-in spray of micronutrients. So we'll kind of kill two birds with one stone right there. When we spray our micronutrients, which consists of iron and like manganese and boron and things like that, uh, it will water in our humic DG and our fertilizer. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone right there. And we should see some good results with all that down, all those positive things down. We should see some good results definitely within a week. Um, so we'll get the green up with the iron in the micronutrient feeding and we should start to see the grass really pick up in, in its growth and spreading with the fertilizer. And then the humic DG obviously will help enhance the fertilizer for the nutrients to be recycled a little bit more efficiently for the plant to use them. So it's a good, I just thought this was a good idea to do all these three treatments today and just let the lawn start kind of taking off and wake up and here we go, you know. I do have a little bit of bare spots, but not near as bad as past years. My lawn gets kind of hammered back here with rains, and I, I still have some puddling areas uh, where it kills off the centipede a little bit. But these fill in, these should totally fill in by June this year. Um, and another thing about centipede, and as you can see, I've got a bunch of weeds in here that are dying though. These are on their way out already from the atrazine feeding, and being that it's a sunny day these are gonna these are gonna be out of here really fast and uh, we'll be able to let the lawn kind of spread and fill in I'll do a follow-up video on the results of these treatments hopefully in the next week and uh, we can see kind of what it looks like before and after this stuff's just like really spreads great like you and one thing I like about it you can actually see it when it's going through the spreader as you're applying it and so it's easy to tell where you've gone and and kind of uh, where the fertilizer is being spread as far as like your width and your pattern. So this stuff's just great. I've got a little Scott's Elite Spreader, broadcast spreader. So as you can see here, it says Scott's Basic Turf Builder Edge Guard. That's what I've got. It's a setting of a six. It's also got Earthway on here, Scott's Easy Green, Vigoro, all that. So let's come over here and set this thing to a six. There we go. One of the things the fertilizer bag did mention is to water in the product. Uh, after you apply it, go ahead and activate it. And you may want to water uh, just to break down those particles, you may want to water. It does mention this on the bag as well, water for three to four days. Just keep the lawn lightly moist. You don't want to just drench your lawn uh, with a sprinkler or anything. I really just walk around the yard with like a hose-in sprayer and just set it on the water setting and just kind of uh, wet the yard down that way. Uh, and just do it, you know, for a couple of days, two, three days. And uh, that should activate the product and get it working uh, a lot more quickly.